Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be cooking the creamy pan fried chicken with fresh lemon coleslaw. It looks like this. Super colorful, lots of texture, lots of flavors, very exciting recipe. Before we start chopping away and cooking, subscribe to our video, give us a thumbs up and then we'll just get going. So let's start by looking what's inside the box. We have fresh coriander, nice smell. We have spring onion. We have a carrot, a little zucchini, a chili, then obviously the white cabbage. We have some ginger and garlic and a lemon and then for the flavors we have some mayonnaise for the coleslaw and a little mayonnaise goes a long way if you're freaking out about calories use only half but you'll be fine it'll be still tasty there's a bit of sour cream for the chicken there's a bit of honey to balance the flavors of the chili and some good butter for frying the chicken and so forth some a uh, little bit salted butter which is delicious and then we have the fresh chicken breast, uh, which we'll be frying on the pan. So let's get started with the chopping. So I'm gonna first remove the core of the, um, of the cabbage. The core is a little bit hard, doesn't need to be in the, in the coleslaw. So that's been kind of chopped off properly. It's still flavorful. So these are the good nibbles that you can have while you're cooking. So then it's just about really thinly slicing the cabbage. Okay, so once the cabbage is sliced, put it in the bowl. Make sure your, your bowl is big enough because this is where you'll end up putting your, your coleslaw. And then we will massage it with a bit of lemon juice. So we'll put some lemon juice. And just, if your lemon is a little bit hard, you can just give it a little squeeze that will sort of ease up so the juices come out easier. You could use a little bit of lemon zest as well, but I'm just going to put mostly juice. Okay. And so the idea is to massage the cabbage with your hand, with the lemon juice. There we go. All right, now we can chop the rest. So I'll give my zucchini, my spring onion and the coriander a good rinse and the chili. Okay, so I'm gonna start by chopping these spring onions. I just removed the ends and then just get on with it. Oh. 
Now we have all our vegetables in the bowl. So let's see what's the, um, what's the recipe for the sauce here. So we need to do mayonnaise, honey, a little bit of salt and pepper. So mayonnaise we have here. I'm going to first just mix it in, in a small bowl so I get exactly the flavors I want. Put the honey. And a pinch of salt. And a good grind of pepper. It's always good to try before you mix a seasoning or dressing in your salad. So you just... Okay, so this is really nice and tasty. So two options. If you're going to be cooking, eat, or sorry, if you're going to be eating this as soon as um, the, the, you finish cooking, mix the dressing into your coleslaw. But this is such a great lunch dish, um, you know, to take for, for lunch to work or for the kids in their lunch boxes. It's also a great entertaining dish if you're doing a barbecue. So all the chopping, all of this hard work you can do the previous day, keep the sauce, prepare the sauce and keep it on the side and only pour it in just before serving. But we'll be eating straight after we're done with this. So I'm just mixing it in. And see, all you need is two tablespoons or one and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise. And you still have your whole coleslaw nicely coated. And like I said, if you don't like mayonnaise or you just don't want to use it, um, watching your weight a little bit and so forth, then you could have just done the same kind of dressing with lemon, lemon juice. So lemon juice, a little bit of honey, maybe a little bit of vinegar to balance it, salt and pepper, and you'd have a very nice, a little bit healthier version of the coleslaw. I'm gonna put this in the chiller and we'll start with the chicken. Let's start frying the chicken. Okay, I'm gonna start by putting my, um, the heat on and start warming up my pan. I'm gonna put a bit of olive oil and butter. Uh, the reason I don't put only butter is because butter burns quite quickly, so we need a little bit of oil as well on the pan. So I'm patting dry my chicken breast. If your chicken breasts are very thick uh, and uneven in size, you might want to slice them open into butterflies, for instance. That way they cook faster and more evenly. But these are all quite small, so I'm just gonna leave them as is. Once the butter starts melting, before it turns brown, I'll put the chicken breasts on the pan. So we'll sear them now for about three, four minutes beside. So let's add the garlic and ginger now. Then let's season with salt and pepper. And then I will add in the sour cream.
So really, that's it. That's how simple it is to create a super fast, tasty, colorful meal with just a couple of ingredients. Um, so this is colors, textures, it's healthy, it's delicious. Um, I'm going to give it a taste. Uh, before I do that, give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you're going to be cooking next week. And remember to select your recipes on the link below. Bon appétit!